what, what the man is talking about. More than 100 prominent black men called on Joe Biden to pick a black woman as his VP as the former vice president closes in on his decision. Entertainment mogul Sean Diddy Combs, the Breakfast Club co-host Charlemagne the God, former NFL defensive end Michael Bennett, civil rights lawyer Benjamin Crump, and many others signed the open letter to Biden. As someone who has said throughout the campaign that VP Joe Biden needs to choose a black woman VP, the urgency for the pick has gone from something that should happen to something that has to happen, the letter said. The letter denounced the treatment of some of Joe Biden's potential picks, including Kamala Harris, for her perceived ambition and her debate attacks against Joe Biden when she was a Democratic presidential nomination rival. It disgusts us that black women are not just being vetted in this VP process, but unfairly criticized and scrutinized, the letter said. Was Joe Biden ever labeled too ambitious because he ran for president three times? Why does Senator Kamala Harris have to show remorse for questioning Biden's previous stance on integrated busing during a Democratic primary debate? Among other names on the letter are entertainer Nick Cannon, Bishop William J. Barber, and CNN political contributor Van Jones. No nationally prominent black political figure was listed as a signer. I can recall a few months ago when Diddy was interviewing Naomi Campbell, and he said that Biden would have to improve the lives of black and brown people if he wants the black vote. He said that I'm going to hold the black vote hostage. So who's in the hunt to be Biden's VP? Kamala Harris is the leading contender, along with former Obama administration national security advisor Susan Rice. Others under consideration are Representative Karen Bass of California, Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, Representative Val Demons of Florida, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, and Senator Tammy Duckworth of Illinois. Harris, Rice, Bass, and Demons are all black. The letter went on to say that if Joe Biden did not pick a black woman as his vice president, he will lose the election. If you've been following this channel over the last year, you know I've been very critical of Kamala Harris's record. But something has caught my attention as of late. I see a lot of pundits, conservative pundits and liberals attacking Kamala Harris. And these are white conservatives and white liberals. Carson Tucker said that if Kamala Harris becomes vice president, America will be destroyed. You see, they don't think that Joe Biden, if elected, will make it all the way through. They're saying that he could die. And if that happens, if he dies or he gets, his dementia takes over, Kamala Harris will be next in line and she'll be the president. And they are saying that, oh no, that could never happen. Why would Carson Tucker say something so mean about Kamala Harris? I told you before, fam, Whatever they love, I hate. Whatever they hate, I love. You know why? Because they love what is not in the best interest of black people. And they hate what is. It's that simple. They have never been for us. 
Never. When we're happy, it makes them sad. If they see us winning, they feel they're losing. Unless we're winning in some type of sporting event and it's their team that we're on. Oh, it's simple, fam. This, which caused me to dig a little deeper. And I've seen so many as of late making comments, negative comments about Kamala Harris. Why would they do that if she was for the status quo? Because that's what they're about. They like things the way they are. They don't want to change it. And the only way you can get in if you're black is if you are going to take the hand off of the baton and run, 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 run. You got to be on code with what they got going on. If they feel like they can't control you, if they feel like you're going to do something to help black people, they're not going to be for you. This is why they didn't like Bernie Sanders. This is why they don't like Elizabeth Warren. I find it interesting that so many black men are getting behind the push for Biden to select a black woman as his running mate. I ain't got no problem with that. Black women for centuries have made contributions to this nation and have gone unrecognized. They have led the charge in, in voting mobilizing people, organizing people to vote. So I have no problem with that. I just hope that if we do get one in there, that she don't sell a soul for a tussie roll. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah.